Hey you guys, welcome back. Hello. We're gonna go back to Zeiss. See if the professor managed to do anything with the black ornament. That would be good. Maybe he did manage to cut it off. Oh. oh, very good. Hello, ladies. I was just wondering if I could ask... Huh? Wow, it's huge. It's a b b b b bear Bear? Um, okay. You don't need to worry about me. All I want are some directions. You wouldn't happen to know where Elmo's hot springs are, would you? Oh, uh, well, we just came from there, actually. It's just down the road. South from here. Ah, I see. Thanks for the information. Oh. You... Huh? Uh, could it be... Is it possible? Is what possible now? Uh, oh, uh, sorry. It's nothing important. Take care. Wow, man of few words. His cloth look, looked eastern, so I figured he must be foreign. Well, Zeiss is right on the border of, with the Calvert Republic. He might have come from there. I bet you're right. Mrs. Mao told me about people who live way off in the east. Oh, right. I think Kilika is from the east, too. You are so huge! I was super surprised! <laughs> I guess he does kinda look like a bear. But he doesn't act like any bear I've ever seen. He looks like he studies martial arts. How can you tell? Well, I'm a martial artist too. He wasn't just big, he looked like he trained his body like crazy. Indeed. And his legs were like tree trunks. He might be a master just like Estelle's read just like Estelle's read about. Let's follow him. <laughs> a mysterious Eastern man. There you are. Oh, this one is nice. I believe I'll go soak in the bath and wash the road dust right off. Alright. That's not the bath, though. He's just gonna jump in right here. Be like, <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Soaking in the middle of the village. Love it. Everybody look at my toad body. It's gonna be a little bit awkward. Everybody's gonna be like, hmm. Hmm. Why is there a naked man in the middle of the village? <laughs> There's somebody just bathing in the thing. It's not too meant for bathing. Not that part. Eastern man does not does not care. Huh? Huh? What's the matter? Maybe I'm just losing it, but I thought I heard something. You're not losing it, at least not because of that. I heard something too, but far off. From the direction of the factory. What? Oh no, what do you mean? I don't know, I'll just have to go and see. Uh, like the, the normal music is just kicking in like la la la, da, it's da, da. fine. This is okay. Everything's nice. Nothing is suspicious at all. There we go. We should be good on jobs now. Yeah. All right. Let's uh, what's that smoke? I wonder. Oh no. Oh no. The old man explode. Yesterday I met a young merchant from the Calvert Republic in the factory. 
He said he was an Ottoman merchant. I'd like to talk to him again sometime. Our country will no doubt expand trade with the Republic. It'd be good to get an early on it. It's not a fire, is it? What's causing that smoke? Oh no. Did it explode? That would be bad. Huh? Oh god. Oh no. <coughs> I thought I was a goner. Well, you're right. That's what's important. Okay, that's every section, right? It's all the full-timers, at least. Chief! Uh, it's you. Back from Elmo? What's with all the commotion? There was some kind of gas leak inside the building. Everything from the fifth floor down is full of fumes. Don't tell us... Don't tell us there was a fire. I doubt it, since the extinguishers haven't been set off. At least Antoine's made it out. That Most doesn't mean I've been able... Yeah. yeah, it's true. That doesn't mean I've been able to figure out where this is happening, though. Excuse me, Chief. Where's my grandpa? Oh, that's right. Miss Hazel, is everyone accounted for? Well... We're fully staffed today, but Professor Russell isn't among those evacuated. What? You mean he's still in there? Let us handle this, sir. We'll figure this out. Thank you. I I'm going too. What? Tita? I know a lot about the fa central factory. I can show them the way. Tita? Okay. Come with us then. Stay close. But if it gets too dangerous, you have to come back here, alright? Uh, okay. Um, would it be okay if I came with... No. Sorry, but we need you to stay back here. Gee, thanks for taking the time to think about it. But hey, what can you do? Just be careful, okay? If the professor is in there, he's probably in the third floor workshop. I check there first. Got it. We'll be off then. Oh no. How many years has it been since I've moved that fast? <sighs> Rudy, are you okay? <coughs> S smoke. <coughs> in lungs. <coughs> Is anyone injured? Please speak up if you are. Back there is all smoke now. Ugh, I really thought I was a goner. I haven't run that hard and I don't know how long. Oh, I don't feel right. Antoine. Meow is what he says. Ella, please translate. I don't I, think I it's a fire. So what's all that smoke then? Have all the guests been properly evacuated? The smoke is incredible. What do we do? If there's a fire, we lose all of our data. That's true. That that would suck. Strange. Uh, that isn't smoke from a fire. And there are no explosive experiments going on right now. So what's making that smoke? It was... This meow. This meow. Double I, double A. He might just be screaming no. now. Yeah, I think it's just screaming. There is no translation for this. No, he's just stressed out. Poor baby. Ugh, so much smoke. Huh, not so bad that you can't breathe though. This haze is... Probably a smoke screen for something else, I think. 
There must be a smoke canister nearby. Huh? But why would something like that even... Can't speculate on why. But if we can't put out that canister, the smoke should clear up quickly enough. Got it. Find it and put it out. Professor Russell is in the third floor workshop, right? Yes, at least I think so. Grandpa sometimes gets so wrapped up in his research that he loses sight of what's going on around him. He's literally gonna lose sight in this in this uh, steam smoke. Yeah. Well, let's get on. Let's get. Well, let's get to the third floor. Hey, Joshua, that's. Looks like a smoke canister. Like that one the Sky Bandits used before. Joshua quickly dismantled the smoke canister. Wow, the smoke's cleared up. Wow, that was cool. There are probably more canisters like that this around. Let's find them and I'll take them apart. Okay. Alright, let's check every floor before we go check Professor Russell. Mm -hmm. Wonder if there's a separate canister for the uh, for the staircase. Maybe there is. Okay. Is there one at the tunnel too? Probably not. Nope, that's the way out. We don't have to go there. Way more important things happening in here right now. Check last. Yep. Hey, grab another tomato. Does it say Falcom? I think it does. It it says Falcom. <laughs> <laughs> no serving tomato then. Wait, 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 tomato. Wait, I didn't. I, I forgot that about the Falcom. There we go. Grab the tomato. Very good. Very good. We can throw that at whoever put uh, out the smoke canisters. Yeah. Uh, put... Nah, not really put them out. I mean put them out here. Out in here. That, that makes, makes that sense. That makes sense. Yeah. Even the capital is uh, malfunctioning. Where's the smoke canister for this one? Maybe there's just none here. And didn't see. The elevator is just full of smoke. Okay, so we're missing the one on this floor. Maybe it's hidden somewhere. Didn't he say something about except for the fifth floor? I don't remember I'm saying that, but I might be misremembering. And we're just missing that. We are missing the one on the third floor, then I guess. Let's just check that out. Ignore the workshop for now. Let's see if we can find one. There it is. There it is. Okay, he didn't say anything about hey, this is all of them, but it I guess we're just gonna, just gonna accept for now. Oh, it's still going. D Grandpa? We've got to be. Uh?
There's no one here. So why is the machine still on? We should turn it off. Phew. Where could Grandpa have gone? It's not just him. The brick apartment is gone too. You don't suppose? Hey! So, here you are. Agate? What are you doing here? I should be asking you the same thing. I heard about the disturbance here, so I came to check it out. Lo and behold, you got here before me. Will wonders never cease? Your incompetence keeps sticking your nose. Your incompetence keeps sticking your noses where they do not don't belong. Someone's gonna come and cut them off. Ah, I have a not a jack. Um, I guess you know him. His name is Agate. He's a senior bracer. Hey, hold on a second. What's a kid doing here? I got a lot of tita. Hey, she hasn't done any anything, so lay off. Bah. So damn much I could say, but I'll hold off for now. So what the hell's going on? Here's the situation. Joshua explained to Agate how Professor Russell had gone missing. Smoke canisters, huh? Certainly explains the stench around here. We ain't got time to waste, though. We've got to find the Professor, and fast. Right. Acknowledged. Grandpa? Hmm. Maybe go. Maybe go down. Maybe he. Uh, yeah. Maybe go outside again. Yeah. We're gonna get a hint. No. Uh, check the elevator. I think that's the only place we didn't. I, I just I just checked the elevator on the roof. Huh. Huh. The automatic door isn't opening. Is the orbit power shut off? No, it looks like it's operational. Someone's probably using the elevator. We're waiting here then. Could that someone possibly be Professor Russell? Let's hope not, since it doesn't seem to be going anywhere. Either way, the only way we're getting upstairs is via the emergency staircase. Yeah, you're right. Okay, I guess back to the third floor, maybe walk towards the elevator? Maybe, maybe someone just called it. No. Pressing the button does nothing. I guess we're just gonna check all the rooms. Or check uh, every elevator door. <laughs> every single one. It has to be somewhere. That's highly suspicious, though. That is highly suspicious that someone is using the elevator. We should really have, like, waited for them to uh, come out at the, yeah. at the bottom floor. So only the fifth floor is left, I think? I think the fifth floor is just... Um, What's that door doing open? Uh, sorry about the wait, I've secured the last objective. Alright, let's get out of here then. Are you all set? That voice! That voice? Come on, it came from the elevator. Uh oh. Aha! 
It's them. G Grandpa. Well, I, I gotta take cross now. Oh crap! Go go go! H hold it right there. Get back here! Shit, so close. We almost had them. No. Why'd they take Grandpa? Let's take the emergency stairs down. It looks like they're trying to get out of the factory. Yeah. If they get away, there's no way to know if they'll take the tunnel or just try to lose us in town. Move your asses, kids! You don't have to tell me twice. Run, 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 run. So I think you can be faster with the stairs than with the elevator. I would hope. Oh no, they but already nope. made it, of course. Hey, they're back! Good, you're all right. When the soldiers showed up, I thought something serious had happened. Soldiers? Hold on a second. Soldiers? Not guys dressed in black? No idea what you mean. They were dressed in blue and white military uniforms. Polite enough, but I got the feeling they didn't come from the Alet checkpoint. They definitely seemed like the right guardsmen to me. I thought they looked so cool that I snapped off a picture. Royal guardsmen? Huh? The ones who took away Mayor Dama. But why would they be here? Um, they weren't with my grandpa, were they? With the professor? No, they did have some really big baggage with them, though. Uh -oh. It had to be them, no doubt about it. If they changed into military uniforms in the elevator. Damn it! It's the oldest trick in the book. They pulled it off. Wait. Wait just a minute. What's all this supposed to mean? We'll have to fill you in later. Which way did these soldiers go? T towards town. And they moved like they had a purpose. We're going after them. No way I'm letting I'm letting them get away. And so the Stella Company split up to search the streets of Sice. But in the end, they could find no trace of the men who had taken the professor. The incident was reported to the Royal Army and a unit was sent to Zeiss from the stronghold at the lake to aid in the investigation. I understand the particulars. Nevertheless, this is major. This would appear to be a clear-cut case of terrorism. In Aedius's name? Terrorism? Using smoke canisters to create a diversion while abducting the kingdom's greatest mind. To say nothing of the theft of the orbital calculator, which contains some of our country's most cutting-edge technology. This deed will not go unpunished. So, what kind of plan does the military have up its sleeve? We already have Aladdin, the Wolfort, Solid Army Road and Sanctum Gate performing inspections. There's no way that the culprits are getting out of the Zeiss region. Wow, you really mean business. <laughs> well, Intel's job is to help dismobilize as quickly and efficiently as possible in times of emergency. I do have one question. What do, you have, what do you think about the terrorists having masquerade as royal guardsmen? Yes, it's very upset, unsettling. Having said that, Miss Dorothy Hyatt. What? Who? Me? You took photos of the criminals making their escape, did you not? We would have greatly appreciate it if you give us that photograph to be processed as evidence. What? But, but, it's my big scoop! Hmm. 
The Royal Guardsmen are the pride of the Labaud's military. The photo of their involvement in such an incident is a serious and sensitive matter. I don't I don't trust her like one bit. She's taking no. that photo calls to like destroy it. <laughs> Take it behind <laughs> the factory and shoot it. I also must ask that you not post any news about this until we know more. This is in order to protect the honor of Her Majesty the Queen. This isn't the a formal request, but the entirety of the Royal Armed Forces would greatly appreciate it. Uh, fine, I guess. Once you figure out what you need to know, you'll give it back, right? Dorothy reluctantly handed over the photo quartz exposure to Captain Amothia. Thank you for cooperating. I hate to ask this, but it would be it it would also be appreciated if the braces would cease their invest Ain't happening. I've been chasing those guys in black since way before any of this started. Military honor or not, I got no reason to stop now. <sighs> you leave me no choice. Please proceed with your investigation. That said, this is with the condition that you report your findings back to intelligence at, La uh, at Fort Layston. Fine with me. And if you learn anything new, you report it to the Zeisbridge, okay? Very well. And with that, I must take my leave. Phew, that was a little int intense. She's kind of Richard's right hand man, a uh, uh, woman? Yes, it looks like she came here as the colonel's direct representative in the investigation. <laughs> but I'm just, I'm just fine with not rubbing elbows with the military. Anyway, it looks like the culprits are hiding out somewhere in Zeiss. The sooner we part in at the guild, the sooner we can start searching outside of town. Yeah. Wait a second. How come you're not telling us not to follow you this time? Because I can use you. Why else would I want you along? You're a real peach, you know that. No big deal though, it's just more training for us. Thanks for having us. Yeah, yeah, just stay alert. We're gonna go now, Chief. Alright, take care. Do what you have to in order to save the Professor. Hmm. Hmm. I've decided to keep the news about Professor Russell's secret for the time being. It should make it easier for you to do what you need to. That was a wise decision. Yeah, you wouldn't want to start a panic. Please find Professor Russell. And Tita, keep your chin up. I'm sure the Professor's fine. Yes, sir. Mm. Poor thing. Fucking conga line again. Yeah, we're like really long now. He <laughs> <laughs> rang around the rosy. <laughs> <laughs> Is any, anyone back? I don't have a degree in mathematics, you know. I heard this camera is the most user-friendly model. You make cameras, don't you? What do you think? Uh, okay, look. This model here has only the tiniest differences and honestly, I rank recommend it more. What? No. You want a user-friendly camera? User-friendly can be such a relative term nowadays. Just easy to use. Oh. Whoa. So this is where they make Opel engines, huh? I'm being transferred to the Orbital Engine Project? Me? 
I am sorry to be calling you up so soon after the attack. I have received a message that needs your atten attention at once. I won't beat around the bush. They want you on the project for the Assay's new engine. I mean, to be fair, to give the Assay a new engine isn't that like a really big honor? Yeah, maybe she was surprised that she's, you know, allowed to do that. So I think that would be like really cool. I want to yeah. check if I forgot where the medical office is. I want to check if Antoine is okay. Fourth floor. Where's Antoine? Hello, Go everyone. On. As far as I know, there aren't any injuries. It was quite a harrowing experience, but at least it seems that no one was harmed. Tita, are you alright? Do you feel ill? No. No, I'm okay. I'm just a little lightheaded. Don't overtax yourself. I imagine you're exhausted. Go and get some rest. Yes, ma'am. <coughs> My luck still aren't feeling better yet. He breathed in a lot of this, that stuff. Alright, though. I think this is a good place to stop. Did you accept yeah. tomatoes li live? I heard the capel got taken. But my tomatoes are just fine. I was secretly hoping one of the terrorists come in here and have a taste of one. Maybe then I could market it as a weapon. But not a bite mark anywhere. I'm gonna steal another one, though. Yep. Maybe they just took it because they liked it. Yeah, maybe the criminals are just that badass. Yeah. They were like, I am. I love it when my mouth feels like it's being killed. Oh, right. I have to buy some of photoquads. Excuse me. Okay. Thanks for your help. Oh, I didn't do anything. I was just supposed to check up on some information for the editors. Well, try and cheer up, okay, Tita? Uh, I will. Thank you, Miss Dorothy. Don't worry. I'm sure the, the stunned Joshua will crack this case and be able to help your grandpa. See you later! Tita, please don't look so sad. I'm sure your grandpa is just fine. Right, since he's one of the kingdom's most foremost scientific minds, I can't imagine anyone wanting to hurt him. I... You're right, he has to be okay. What's with that look? Nothing. Time's a wasting. Let's go to the guild. Alright, I'm gonna... Let's not go to the guild. No, I'm gonna place us in front of the guild, though. Oh, hey, Wang, it's you! Wang! I I, I just got back to Zeiss. What in the goddess's name is going on? Well, you see... Hey, what are you doing? Get your guts, uh, butts back to the guild. We've got no time for chit-chat. <sighs> I hate it when I get his right. I don't know why. I'm talking to you too. You're a bracer, aren't you? Get out here. Get out there. You're right. Sorry, sir. Hmm. <laughs> Our job's to worry about what to do next, not what's already said and done. Let's get moving. Bye, Wang. Okay, see you. Let's go. Alright. Place us in front of the guild so I don't forget. Okay. Safe um. once in a while. And, uh. Yeah. Alright then. Gonna end the episode in our recording session here. Yes. So. And, uh, finally get some food. Yes. <laughs> uh. Alright then, though. Uh, until next time, guys. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.